going to be talking to Talent Plantation. And what they've done is they've actually looked at animation and how we're we actually going to be using animation in terms of teaching high school children and in their instance, math. So, um, Talent Plantation, are you guys around? Bye, Wayne and Bev. Thanks, Say. Hi, good morning. Can you hear Hi, me? Ant. Yes, we can hear you. I'm so okay. excited for you to be sharing today. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you guys. Uh, I only have 20 minutes. So I'm just going to gun it, if you don't mind. All right, cool. Yes. Uh, with, with me is Zanri van Amarwe, who's uh, one of our producers at uh, Talent Plantation. I can give you a little bit of background. And then we're going to play two snippets of videos. Uh, welcome, Zandri. I see you're also there. Um, so, guys, yes, hopefully I'm just going to capitalize on what Wayne just said. So, our company uh, is a group of companies that uh, special, specializes in uh, not only animation, but all kinds of mediums that you can use for kids or for uh, uh, education. Um, so, we have uh, the biggest animation studio in Africa. So I can make the same 3D animation movies that Marvel and Disney can, can create in America. So this is quite unique for South Africa. And um, during, uh, while we started our business and focusing on, on, on different mediums, we, we realized the potential in, in, in education. And education, I mean, animation can work so well for education. And we started the company Talent Plantation out of the group of companies and um, we did a lot of research before we, 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 we've done this. So we believe, and uh, um, hopefully you will agree, that education in, in South Africa and all over the world is still stuck in the, in the industrial age. I mean, look at kids and uh, just leave COVID for now. I'm, I'm so sick and tired of COVID, but just leave COVID for now. Uh, and I mean, just think about kids going to a class, sitting in a classroom, and I mean, the teachers there, it's all textbook driven. Um, in, uh, and the teacher said, open your textbooks and this is what we're going to discuss today. And, and what, what, do, what, what do kids mostly see when they get into a classroom? They see the back of the head of the teacher because they're still writing on a board. I mean, if you're lucky, you're in a school that uh, got interactive boards, but it's pretty boring and it, it hasn't changed for like 100 years. So, so we believe that uh, we can change that. We believe the teacher should be... Uh, change the role from uh, open your textbooks to being a facilitator and let's use the mediums that Generation Z is, is using. I mean, if I've got kids, probably most of you got kids and, and obviously you guys are at school most of the day um, when it's not closed. Um, but if you look at Generation Z, they can multitask. They can do multiple devices at a time. So, I mean, I don't know about you, but my kids can literally sit and they are busy WhatsApping. So busy watching, uh, doing stuff on Instagram, they're listening to music and the TV's on. And they're having a conversation with me all at the same time. So why don't we use that technology to our advantage? The, the generations, uh, the, the, the gap that they, they, give, they give us, why, why, don't, why can't we use that to our advantage and, and make that their gateway to the world? So why should education be stuck in the, the, the 90s, 1900s, and uh, but the kids today are learning and they're playing with different uh, devices and, and different mediums. So we, we, we did a lot of research. And um, uh, one thing that's, that's true is humans just love stories. They love kids watch, love, love, uh, watching stories. I mean, my kids can watch a movie four years ago and they can still quote some of the scenes in the movie, literally sentence by sentence. So why don't we use that to, our, that to our advantage and let them remember stuff from an animated video and when they get into exam, the, the exam, uh, exams, they can literally recall what happened in the movie. So yeah, so we did a lot of research and uh, we, we, we went to a lot of schools and we realized the biggest friction in, 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 our, in, schools, in, in schools are definitely um, grade 11 maths. Uh, kids are really struggling. It's not easy. I mean, I, for my, myself, I mean, I, I really hated maths. I'm sorry that all, for all the math teachers out there, but math wasn't my strong point because uh, it didn't interest me at all. I mean, today I'm making movies 
Uh, and that really interests me. But maths, not so much. So, so I sat down and, sit and, and asked myself, so how can I take what I love, making movies, and bring it back to the school, and then um, taking, taking the, the, the school, and, sorry, I just <clears throat> broke up there, and to take, take the, the mathematics and bring, bring it back to, I mean, to, to, the, to the animation. Sorry, there was a bit of a distraction there. Okay, so what, what I decided was, let's go and let's make movies, but let's make the movies so engaging and so immersive and so entertaining that the kids can learn and have fun at the same time. So we made a decision to make uh, some animation movies, 2D and 3D, where we, the principle is 80% of the, the movie must be educational, 10% uh, must be immersive, and 10% must be engaging. So it must be educational. If I give you a mathematics movie uh, or a video and it's, it's not educational, I mean, you guys are not going to watch it or even use it as a resource. So we believe the, the animation movies we make is a resource for teachers. So please don't think we want to remove you and all this AI is going to take your jobs. I don't believe in that. Human interaction is so important. We need you guys. We need you guys to just use other resources. I think they, it's, they, that's what COVID proved to us, that we need some online resources to, 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 to help you to, fur to further your, your class. So just imagine you walking into a class and um, you have to give your class and afterwards you say, okay, for homework, guys, for homework, grade 11 math students, you're going to watch this movie tonight, a 10-minute snippet movie and we're going to discuss that tomorrow so you can capitalize on that the other thing about um, uh, animation is that we we um i mean you, you you can teach social and emotional learning while you're doing the movie and yes i'll i'll show you just what we've done just now just hang on a second there i see there's a question one thing about animation that you need to understand is it takes away multicultural and multi-language issues. So uh, and in an animation, and when we did the research, uh, the grade 11 kids said, you know what? We don't want humans to teach us. We don't want teachers to teach us. We don't want robots. We gave them a lot of options. I'm not going to go through the research. But eventually, about 85 to 90% of all grade 11 said, we want aliens to teach us. Why? Because they're 2,000 years ahead of us. They're a lot more clearer. They're up in space. They can speak any language. And when we got that result, we were so excited because, I mean, you don't do, shoot a movie where the, the, the presenter, the teacher, has got a color. No skin color. So skin color is not an issue. So multicultural, multi-language uh, really um, have been taken away by animation. So in multi-language, I mean, so I can make an animation movie or a video in Sutu, Zulu, uh, Tuana, Afrikaans, uh, Spanish, uh, French, German, whatever. All right, so I, I think I've rushed into it right now, and I've 10 minutes already gone. And I'm going to ask, I don't know if Joel or Zanri, who's going to play the first one? I'm just going to give the background uh, of this 2D animation. This was done for a primary school kids, uh, our target market is grade four. And um, this was done for a values program for a non-profit organization called Transforming Kids. And this is, uh, the video is called Kids with Character. We're just gonna play a little short snippet because of time, but I mean, you can, you can uh, uh, get the, the movie from us, or you can just look on our Vimeo, Vimeo account. And um, this is how we use animation 2D to train kids values. So you guys can hit it, please. I don't know, is it Joel? Joel, are you playing the video or is it Zangri? It should be Joel. Um, he did speaking that he has the snippet ready. Um, Karen, Karen, are you still there? We go because we need to. Uh, Joel said he's going to play the movie. I think Joel's going to play the movie. Joel, have you got it? Hi, this is the technical department that's coming in. There we go. Any chance your thing called an STU promo or what is? Um, no. 
No, we mailed you the snippet. Otherwise, Joel, if you can't, uh, Zanri can play it. If you, if, if, if can you share it. your screen, Zanri, and share it? Please excuse uh, yeah, you, me. Uh, you, um, <laughs> okay, I, I have it. Can you see it on the screen? Not, not yet. Um, it, it, no, yeah. So we're doing transforming kids, uh, Zanri. So the Transforming Kids 2D animation, uh, Kids with Character, and this is just a little promo short snippet that we're going to show you. Okay, I'm sharing it with you right now. There we go. You can make the screen bigger. Biggest. Meet Tando and Jim. Jim and Tando have been given a cake, both. But there are two people and only one cake. So they both make a grab for the cake and it falls on the floor. Neither of them get the cake. Tando Zero, Jim Zero, serves them right, selfish kids. The end. Wait, what? That's a stupid story. Let's try that again. Meet Tando and Jim. Jim and Tando have been given a cake. Both Tando and Jim want the cake, but there are two people and only one cake. So they do the sensible thing and cut the cake in two. But when she looks away, Jim grabs both pieces at once and eats the entire cake. Betrayal, drama, trickery. I like it. Jim cake, Tando no cake. Nice one, Jim. Hey, that's even stupider. I mean, why would I do that? Why don't you give it another go? Okay, okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you, Zandri, for playing that. So that was our 2D animation. So uh, I'd like to just skip straight into the 3D animation. So this is our the fun part. This is we're just going to show you a two-minute snippet of 3D animation for mathematics. We call it Inside Story, the story of mathematics. So what we've done is we've taken we worked with the mathem mathematicians um, in Pretoria and we created a story for maths. So for the first time ever in the history of the world, you're going to see 3D animation where the actors are playing out and explaining maths to each other. So uh, we can't show you the entire clip, which is 10 minutes. But the principle is we, they said we are in space. There's a teacher. He asks the kid a question. We go into the head of the kid and they solve the equation. All right. So, I'm, I, so that's how it works out. And you'll see the kid uh, then giving the answer at the end. So Zanri, please play that. Are you still with us, Finn? Yes, sir. It's... Oh no, time's running out and we still don't know what the answer is. Everyone's looking at us. And I've made a mess of everything. No, 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 it's fine. We're almost there. We just need one last example. <laughs> okay, we need to solve for x, where x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0. That's easy. All we You're right. Two. How about we add a little coefficient to that x squared? Say a 2. Wait. That's the equation M wanted us to solve. Exactly. Uh-uh. Sorry. Come on. You got this. Okay. So we use the cross multiplication method. The factors of 2x squared are 2x and x. And the factors of 6 are 3 and 2. Then we cross multiply. 2x and 2 is 4x. X and 3 is 3x. Yes. And then how do we get our middle term of plus 1x? We get plus 1x by making it minus 3x plus 4x. So we have 2x minus 3, x plus 2. Yes, and it factorizes as 2x minus 3, x plus 2 equals 0. Check the minus sign by multiplying the signs of the last two figures. Yes. Minus times a plus is a minus. We're good. Yes, so? 2x minus 3 equals 0, or x plus 2 equals 0. Almost there. We take the figures across and change their signs. 2x equals to plus 3 x times 2 becomes divide by 2, so x is equal to 3 over 2, and x plus 2 equals 0 becomes x is equal to minus 2. Oblivion! 
over to you. Sir, x is 3 over 2, or x is minus 2. Well, that's, uh, hold on, that's perfectly correct. All right, very well. Let's move on. Let's see what you can all do with equations that can't factorize. Okay, thank you. <laughs> right, I see my time's up, Karen. I think we should head straight into questions. Um, but I mean, yeah, that's that's us. That's fantastic. Um, can you tell people how they can contact you? The information is also on the spreadsheet, but yeah, I mean, I mean on the, the deck, but people. Yes, please, um, I mean, visit our website, just talentplantation.com, and you can send us a, a mail at info at talentplantation.com. You also please uh, link up with me on LinkedIn and with Zanri, and uh, we've got lots more. This is 2D and 3D animation that's just scratching the surface. We also do augmented reality, virtual reality, 360-degree filming, video productions, and we're busy with universities, and we're going to produce a, a, make a production for a Big Bang Theory for Accounting One. How's that? So we're going to do a sitcom and we're going to do it for, for, for <laughs> university. So we're very, very creative and hopefully that'll change the world, uh, the way the world sees uh, education. Any questions? Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. It's been wonderful having you on. Thanks for participating and sharing your amazing products and ideas. Thank you. Thanks, Karen. Thanks for the opportunity. Have a nice Bye. day. So wasn't that amazing? And as Aaron said, they, that's just the tip of the iceberg of the things that they are actually doing. So if you're interested, hop onto the website and go and have a look at some of the amazing resources and things that they are playing in. The other day I was at their studios and I was standing under an elephant in with the, some of the augmented reality tools that they've made. So a really amazing array of tools that they're working in.